Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Hey, Tim. Doing good. Getting ready good. To, yeah, we're going to do our checklist and uh, get the airplane ready to go so we can take off. Okay. Get on the yep. computer and see how much we weigh and uh, how much we need to put in for thrust there. So. Okay. Um, and uh, where where's the computer? Right over there. Yeah. That? Yeah. Okay. Oh, not not that one. Did you, did, you, did you read your book before you came? Your, your how to take off book? I, I read a couple a couple books. Okay. That's good. Now we're going to get our uh, our flaps. What, what flaps are we going to use? What's a flap? Oh, is this your <laughs> first takeoff in a while? No. Right. What does this do here? Uh, no, don't do that one. Don't do that one. Oh, that says fuel. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that, that's 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 the <laughs> I think. There you go okay. left, uh, right. right. Uh, Take the rudder pedals. Okay. Rudder pedals left and right. <laughs> uh, thirty percent. No, no, no. That's there we not go. it over there. It's, that's it's not the trim over here. That's yeah. the trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the trim. Oh yeah. You need to go back to read your. Uh, what, what book was that again? So once we got the trim set, we got <laughs> yeah. the thrust set, we got okay. the engines going, we got our flaps out. And we know how much That's we weigh. That's a lot to remember, dude. And you pretty much can just, uh, you know, and then we've got to have make sure we know what speed we're going to pull back Why don't you take on. off and I'll just watch? I think you should take off. It'd be more fun. The passengers would get a kick out of that. There's the van. Uh oh. Unlock. How you doing? Good, Tim. Can, <laughs> thanks for having me on, man. You this betcha. is awesome. You betcha. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a tiny car for someone of your stature. Yeah, of my stature. Yeah. I wish you know. Should have played in the NBA, but that didn't work out too much. All right. Welcome back to Five Minute Drive. We are hanging out today with a super special guest. I can say that. <laughs> sure. Alberto Diaz. Thank um, you. Uh, Alberto is a. Well, you know, I could, I could, I'm actually going to try to say everything that is you in one sentence. <laughs> okay, that's with, with a few dots. So, refugee from Cuba as a kid. Right. I mean, really young, right? Five years old. Five years old. Yep. And then cut to uh, naval pilot. Yep, naval, right? naval pilot, naval aviator. Exactly. A little bit of stuff in between we can get into, and yep. then and then now you are a pilot for United Airlines. United Airlines, that's right. For the last, for how long? Nineteen years. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So you have uh, racked up a few miles. A few miles, yeah. I just got back from flying about eight so days out of last night. So you get to fly free now. <laughs> it's one of the most difficult airports to fly into. Most challenging. You know what? We were just in Mexico City, and that one's that one's pretty challenging because it's seventy three hundred feet above sea level. So how, just, does, how does that make it difficult? So you know you need more you need more air uh, air molecules over the wings to, yeah. to come. And then, Plus there's mountains and volcanoes all around, and you don't understand the controllers. So, so you, so got, I, you <laughs> got flaming rocks that are passing in front of you. That makes for a challenge, I would yeah. suppose. That's that's kind of difficult. That would be tough. You don't want to land on lava. <laughs> Five years, you know. I mean, right? Do you remember that? I mean, being five. Briefly, years old? yeah, briefly. I do remember. You know, it was really pretty wild getting out of Cuba. That, I mean, you didn't that, like swim over, right? No, we, <laughs> back then we could come over on an airplane, so we came over on a DC three. Okay, okay. I remember, and that last night, you know, they strip searched my parents. We were out at this uh, little airport uh, called Varadero. It's on the beach there, on the northern side of Cuba, and uh, we had to sleep on these benches. No wonder you can't, you know, they don't have happy <laughs> visitors. But what, what is it about flying? Why? You know, what's it about flying for you that's yeah. that you love so much? Well, you know, there's a sense of freedom up there. It's, it's you know, obviously the views are, are great, but, you know, it's a challenging job. Every, every, every flight's a little bit different. And just the freedom of getting up there and uh, kind of defying gravity, defying, defying yeah. nature for a while. You and know? So you normally fly just... just uh, right now, just domestic, US? and then okay. we do a little Canada on the air... I'm on the Airbus 320, so we go down to Mexico City, we go down to uh, Guadalajara, Leon, Mexico, yeah. spots like that, so, uh, uh, Cabo. What's your schedule like? How does that work? Well, we're doing a lot of four-day trips, and uh, I just got back from home back-to-back -back four days. So we're 
eight of the last nine days I was on the road, so I'm a little bit uh, beat up right now. Yeah, I mean, but, it, but, uh, but we you it's get like to a, sleep it's like, though. I mean, it's not yeah. like you fly straight. Yeah, you fly, you fly a couple legs, you go lay over somewhere. So we go to New York or you know Houston or somewhere, and then uh, you know they put you up in a hotel, give you some money for food. And yeah, you don't like have families out. in every city, right? <laughs> no, you know you could probably do that. <laughs> you know, there's something heroic about about people that do these kinds yeah. of jobs. At least I consider that. Yeah. You know yeah. you. A lot of people put their lives in your hands, right? And they, we trust that that you're going to get us there. Yeah, and you are, and you are cognizant of that, and you, you yeah. want to make sure that you're not, uh, you know, um, not ruining that trust in any way, right? Yeah. So you make sure you're getting rest and that you're ready to go. Yeah. Is, there, is there always an air marshal on the plane? No, no. So no. the whole movie with Liam Neeson is baloney. I didn't see that movie, but. <laughs> Pilot, you know, and to, you know, to fly those kinds of planes. It was F-18? awesome. Yeah, F-18s. Yeah. yeah, I was lucky to fly the F-18. I mean, sometimes you know, you you, you go and you um, get into jet pipeline, so you have to have certain grades in uh, as you're flying the intermediate, you know, airplanes to get to jets, right? Right. But then even after you get to jets and you get your wings, there's no guarantee that you're going to fly the F-18. So I was very lucky to get the F-18. And that's what you were. That's what you wanted to fly. Well, um, I wanted to fly 14s. I wanted okay. to fly F-14s. I didn't get those, and then I ended up in the F-18, which was was, was a blessing. I mean, I liked it. It was such a great airplane. There's actually, some training that you do too. They'll send you to uh, a centrifuge. They'll put you in a centrifuge. Like, oh, you know, yeah. Those astronaut little trainers, you know. Yeah. They, they, they wind call, that thing up. They call that the barf machine. You know, <laughs> that could be the barf machine. It could be. Uh, what do you think about this car? This is pretty awesome. I love BMWs for one thing, and I love I love I love wagons actually. This is pretty cool. This is the 2014 3 Series Sport Wagon with, yep. the, with the M package. It gets about 33 miles per gallon. Wow. Costs about 42 grand. Yeah. And it's about 240. You know what more. it took to actually get you in frame on this? Did it take a lot? Yeah. <laughs> we had to modify the seats. <laughs> Yeah. What are those guys called? The guys on set that do all that stuff? The grips or the uh, what are they? What are the guys? Those that do guys that? are uh, the guys that modify seats. <laughs> <laughs> they got, like they help the camera guys, don't they? They set everything. Is there out. anyone yeah. that can do this? That's what those guys are called. <laughs> daughters. How, how can you do that? I actually have three daughters. I have a 23-year-old daughter oh, that's right. in law school. Yeah. That's right. Three yeah. Daughters. I want to go to three weddings here and uh, have to make a speech. I better work on my speeches. I used to love Portland, Oregon a lot. Those layovers in the summertime there were really, really fun. Yeah. So they, yeah. but they don't let you let you smoke pot while you fly. No, you can't smoke pot. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Just that's, ask it. It's one of the downsides of the job. <laughs> yeah. Most things you can pretty much, if you work hard at something, you're going to get to it, right? Yeah, sure. But, you know, to be in the NBA <laughs> or to sing or be the next Tom Cruise, I mean, not everybody gets to do that, right? Yeah, no matter how yeah, hard sure. you work at that. Yeah, so, right. so okay. you know, I played a little college basketball. So and you I could, wanted I, to do that. I, so that's what I want to do. If you ask me right now, what would you want to be doing? And whenever I see somebody playing in the NBA, I go, that's what I want to be doing. I, I find know? it interesting that there's a commonality between being in the NBA or wanting to be a basketball player yeah. and constantly jumping up into the air <laughs> and being a pilot. There you go. That's yeah, it. well, that's pretty good. Yeah. 52 is not old, dude. Just, it's not old. You know, <laughs> just, just throwing that out there, man. That's only halfway to 100, right. and I know several centenarians. <laughs> so, like, what are you talking about? You're a kid. <laughs> Try walk, just walking to the three-point line. Right, right, right. Commercial for United Airlines, which is kind of cool. I heard cool. about that. Yeah, we did the. Uh, someone, the someone at the gym told me, "Oh yeah, that guy's famous. I just saw him on a commercial." <laughs> you know what? Um, Flying fly in the military was probably obviously a lot more dangerous than we do yeah, here at the airline. Yeah, because you got guys shooting. Um, this is out in the uh, on the other side of Mount Whitney, out there dogfighting. And the long the long story short is just that this other airplane came within about you know 50 feet of hitting me. So basically, it was my wingman, and we were both trying to. Yeah. Launch missiles on this one guy, and he was like this. So it's kind of talk, talking my hands now. It's the fighter pilot thing. <laughs> so I was here, he was here, and basically he never saw me because his belly's up like this, right? Oh yeah. So and he's trying to go to the same target I'm trying to go to, oh, and I don't see him. I don't see him because I'm trying to I'm trying to go to that one target too, right? And it, out of the periphery, this is what helps to be young and have good eyes. Out of my periphery, I see this shape coming in, 
And at the last minute I turn and I see this airplane, this plan formed airplane coming in. I pull the nose up and he goes right underneath my, right underneath my wing, man. It would have been a, yeah. two kills right there. Well, one time a, a, an F-14 came down and we gave him a wave off. And he pitched the nose off, he pitched the nose up too high. And the hook caught, the, caught one of the uh, resting cables while he was still airborne. Oh. And it grabbed him, he was in full afterburner, it grabbed him and it just slammed him on the deck. Oh. Unbelievable, I mean, the, everything held together, the cables. Oh. The cable stopped him, and he was able. He's landed safely, but the <laughs> back of the airplane was trashed. <laughs> this guy turns left. He just the car turns left right in front of me. I thought for sure I'm gonna T-bone this guy. Yeah. I stop on those brakes. He yanked the steering wheel to the right, and we just do one of these. Whoo! And he goes inches, passes right behind me. He never hit. Nice. I don't, you know, I don't know. This is what I, I, this isn't a BMW the, per se commercial, but I mean that was a pretty good testimony BMW how those cars can turn. Accident avoidance system. <laughs> yeah. Fighter pilot reflexes <laughs> <That's> maybe. Right. <laughs>